1968 in Madison Square Garden. Joe Frazier is making the first defense of his world heavyweight title against the heavyweight champion of Mexico, Manuel Ramos. The six foot three inch Ramos is four inches taller than Frazier. Joe weighed in at 211 pounds and is much lighter than the 226 pound challenger. Round one starts with champion Joe Frazier, the shorter of the two men, coming out with his customary bobbing and weaving style. Frazier can take you out of there with either hand, testified by his 19 knockouts in 21 professional fights. Ramos, in dark trunks, has had 28 pro fights, scoring 16 wins by knockout. Manuel's best punch is a crushing right uppercut. Fraser the aggressor. Fraser trying to keep the pressure on Manuel Ramos and a good left uppercut by Ramos. Watch now for a ripping right uppercut by Manuel Ramos. There it is. That punch rocked champion Joe Fraser to his heels. Can Ramos follow it up here in round one? Ramos moving in. But Fraser coming back with a good left hook. Fraser coming back after taking that tremendous uppercut by Manuel Ramos. It looks like Fraser has gathered himself and recovered from that crushing uppercut. Joe has some cannons of his own, and he throws his bombs from both sides. Fraser missing with a long right hand. Ramos on the left, keeping plenty of distance between champion Joe Fraser and himself. Two misses by Ramos. Eight months ago, Manuel upset the highly favored Ernie Terrell after a previous upset win over Eddie Machen. Those two big victories place Manuel right up at the top to challenge champion Joe Fraser for the heavyweight championship. A good right to the body by Joe Fraser. Tremendous punches exchanged by both fighters. A good left hook by Joe Fraser. Tremendous left hook by Joe Frazier. Frazier putting tremendous pressure on Manuel Ramos. Ramos on the defense. Frazier typically throwing punches from both sides. That's the end of round one. A tough round for challenger Ramos. Fraser has a reputation of starting slowly, but Ramos would hate to think of the past three minutes as being a warm-up. It was smoking Joe at his best. Joe is right back on top of Ramos here in round two, throwing tremendous punches, most of them landed. Finish the job. Crushing punches by Joe Fraser. A right to the body. A right uppercut. A left to the body. Ramos thinking defensively and comes back with a left right. Joe Fraser here in round two. Trying to knock out challenger Manuel Ramos. Tremendous.
misslip thrown by Fraser, which misses. But that punch didn't miss. Ramos comes back with a left. Joe won't let Ramos rest. A good right uppercut by Fraser. A left hook by Fraser. Fraser staying in close. A left to the body by Joe Fraser. A good left by Joe. And a left uppercut by Ramos. Manuel's fighting back. Two lefts by Manuel Ramos. He's fighting back, but Joe Frazier hits Ramos with a crushing left uppercut. Another uppercut by Frazier. A good left by Joe Frazier, and he misses with a left. A right by Frazier. Frazier looking for that one big punch to take Manuel Ramos out of there. Ramos wobbling, trying to stay away from champion Joe Frazier. Frazier looking for that one shot to take Manuel Ramos out of there. A tremendous left by Joe Frazier. Manuel's back against the ropes. Another Manual and Manual says it's all over. Referee Arthur Mercanti signals the fight is all over. Now in slow motion, we'll watch the conclusion of round two and clearly see why Smoking Joe Frazier is already ranked as one of the greatest punchers in the heavyweight division. A good left to the body by Manuel Ramos. Another left by Manuel. Notice how Ramos is fighting back. Fraser, bobbing and weaving, comes back with a right to the jaw. A blasting left by Joe Fraser. Fraser staying in close. A good right by Joe Fraser to the body. A crushing right uppercut, which lands squarely on Manuel Ramos' jaw. Another good left by champion Joe Fraser. Boxing's big name heavyweights have all been sent home early by this rampaging Joe Fraser. Eddie Machen KO'd in 10 rounds. Billy Daniels stopped in six. Doug Jones lasted six. George Shavalo gone in four. And Buster Mathis bombed out in 11. The best of boxing's heavyweights all went under the Joe Fraser steamroller. Notice how Joe stays in close. He really doesn't give Manuel Ramos punching room. Joe senses the knockout. He's trying to land that big left hook to take Manuel Ramos out of there, but Manuel comes back with a good right to the jaw. It would appear as if former heavyweight king Muhammad Ali could be the only man in the world who might be able to stand up to this rampaging Joe Fraser. Joe never gives Manuel breathing room. Stays on him all of the time. A good right uppercut by champion Joe Fraser. Notice how Joe gets an amazing amount of leverage in his punches. Every time he throws to the head, he intends to knock his man cold. And if there's one thing that could be accurately said about Fraser's offense, it's that he throws punches with bad intentions. A good right by Joe Fraser. A left to the body by Joe. A crushing left to the head. It's hard to believe the champion Joe Fraser has been a professional for only three and a half years. Already boxing authorities talk of Joe's punching power with the same awe and respect they give Marciano and Dempsey. Joe's style is compared to Marciano by many of the leading sports writers. 
Frazier has just one way to fight against all opponents. He keeps throwing punches and never seems to tire. A good left by Joe. A right gets in. Tremendous punches by champion Joe Frazier, and down goes Manuel Ramos. Manuel took some of the best punches from heavyweight champion Joe Frazier. As Manuel sits on the canvas, the referee, Arthur Mercani, takes Joe to a neutral corner. Manuel gets to his feet, very wobbly. Joe Fraser successfully defends his heavyweight championship that goes into the record book as a two-round knockout over a very courageous Manuel Ramos on June 24, 1968.